Hey guys, this is mini Mew Mew bow bag. They call this bag bow bag because it's got two adorable bows on either side of the bag. I bought this bag about two years ago. Um, I bought it pre-owned because they don't make them anymore. Um, and this bag is, I think, about four years old. The bag has one zipper on top that opens like this. You cannot go past this point. So when you are trying to stuff the bag, you have to put it this way and then push it to the side. <laughs> it only has one compartment inside. And it's a pocket, there's no zipper. It's, it's not very, it's very, it's quite shallow. It's not really deep. So you can't put much in here. It's really just for like cards. Um, the lining, is, is not attached and it's this deep purple satin feeling so I'm not sure what it's made out of so this is how it looks from inside when I did research about this bag everyone and everybody was talking about the piping and how it's cracking and how it's kind of um, peeling off and it really depends on I guess which year you bought it because I don't really have an issue with mine I mean it is cracking I'm not gonna deny that but it's not peeling and as long as it's not peeling I'm happy and it makes sense it's cracking you use it all the time because you can bend it over right um, here so I don't find it it's such a big deal. I have a shed my tears and there's another cracking issue there. So who knows? Anyway, um, on the side, there are no pockets outside. There's this um, hardware attachment to the handles. It's not adjustable. It's purely for decoration. It adds the cuteness. And then you have feet which are perfect because you put your bag on the floor all the time. And they're actually pretty good. They're not really scratched. The biggest wear and tear you can see on this bag are the corners. It's quite bad, huh? This is bad. I only really noticed it, honestly, recently. I, I stopped wearing this bag because I got more bags. And I took it out the other day and I had a look and was like, what happened? So, I always wear my bag crossbody, so this is just rubbing my hand or rubbing my trousers. I love this bag. It's not really the lightest bag. Balenciaga is lighter than this. It's just got so much hardware to it. But it's also not a heavy bag. Uh, it's just when you do stuff it, and because the shoulder strap is so thin, you can feel it in your shoulders. But you can always then carry it over your arm or on your hands. And here is the you can, you can take this off and take the strap off on either side. The strap is not adjustable. Um, this is you can you can take it off, but there are no more holes on either side. And this is how it looks like. When you put it on, I always wear a crossbody, like so. And push it to the side. In case, so I am about 5'65", five, 5'7", five, in case you want to wear it just on one shoulder. Or the crook of your arm. And just off the handle. How cute are the bows? Honestly, this is why I bought the pack. Uh, as bad as that sound. Um, to 
you put this bag away, this bag's got this tendency to kind of cave in. So I started to stuff it with the uh, bubble packaging that you get from your Amazon with your Amazon order. Like so. And that's it. Mew Mew mini bag. This is the dust bag that it came with. It's really, <laughs> really low budget, honestly, I think, compared to the others. And then it's got this tiny little mini on the, on the bottom. Sorry. Okay. And uh, there's clear difference between the color that I bought and then the color that it kind of, I guess, faded over time. So it, because you always fold it, this doesn't really get the sunshine. So there's a big difference. Other than that, the corners are quite bad, I guess, as well. Just not too bad. And again, just the corners. But no, no cracking. I don't have any issues with any cracking of the leather or piping. Um, there is some wear and tear on the handle. It gets, it's getting darker because you always kind of adjust it or you try to get in and hold it by one of the handles. Other than that, I am still pretty happy with this bag. I still wear it, even though the corners are quite bad. I, I still think it's the cutest bag because of the bows and it's just so feminine with all the details. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe and like it. Thank you.